All right, so welcome back to another edition of Coding with Pegasus on top of Script.ai. And today I wanted to try and show something that comes up a lot with Pegasus projects, which is around sort of like user permissions. And so out of the box with Pegasus, uh, teams will come with two built-in roles. You can either be a member or an administrator. And when you invite someone to a team, you can uh, choose what type of role you give them and you can also um, update someone's role. So that's all fine and good, but what does it actually mean to be a member or an administrator? And so one of the things that it means, hello, is, so on the left here, I'm signed in as uh, Lockwood, who's the administrator, and then on the right, I'm signed in as Corey, who is uh, just a team member. And so you can see, for example, um, the administrator can invite more team members and delete the team, whereas uh, on the right here, just the team member doesn't have those, um, doesn't have those permissions. But in your own app, you'll probably want to add uh, more custom logic. So for example, in Scriv right now, um, you can create these different chatbots, you can edit these chatbots, uh, you can start chats, and you can delete these chatbots. Um, but probably as a team administrator, you don't want everyone in your team who has access to these bots uh, to be able to um, do destructive actions like delete maybe, and maybe not even edit. Um, <clears throat> so this is actually how Scriv works today. So right now, uh, you could, if you were part of the Pegasus team, you could go in and like, you know, totally destroy or mess with uh, my public bots. And I was realizing that this is probably not a good idea. Um, and so I'm going to tighten these controls. So today I'm going to hopefully show how to put some of this stuff, uh, which is currently available to anyone behind a administrator only flag. Um, so yeah, let's dive in and, and see how that goes. So the first thing I want to talk about is um, decorators. And so my very first step is just going to be to um, use the built-in Pegasus decorators to uh, prevent certain actions by non-admin. So for example, this delete button here um, goes to this delete bot view. And right now this delete bot view has this login and team required decorator which means that anyone who is logged in and has access to the team can uh, call this function. But one thing I can quickly do is change this to team admin required. And um, what that will do is that will um, add permission checks. I mean, we can look at the source code for this. It will add permission checks here to uh, ensure that the person is part of, is the admin of the team. So now on the right here, um, on the right, I think on the right, if I try to delete this bot, I'm going to get a 404. Um, and the reason it's a 404 is just kind of maybe if you have a uh, stuff in your team that you don't even want your members to know that you have access to, uh, then um, they wouldn't be able to necessarily differentiate if they had this URL from uh, something not existing versus uh, just something they don't have permission to. So I don't know, it could be a 404, it could be a 403. But the point is I can't delete the bot anymore from that account. Um, but if I wanted, I could still delete it from this account, um, which I just did. So let's create that bot again. And go back to the bot page, okay. Um, cool. So that's pretty quick, um, but it's kind of clunky, right? So like you don't want someone to see this trash can and then press the button on the trash can only to find out um, that they don't have permission to do that thing. Um, so really, if you don't have permission, you probably shouldn't see the trash can at all, or maybe you should see the trash can, but it should be disabled. Um, so let's... Uh, Let's look at how that works. I'm going to go back to my ID. I'm just going to search for like that my bots text because I don't always remember where what template that is in. List bots. Okay. And so there's the add a bot thing. And let's see. The bots get listed here in this bot list. And so here is this bit that um, shows that trash can. And a simple thing we can now do, and I'm actually just going to pull up the Pegasus docs for this, just to make sure. 
I remember how to do this is let's see permission control team admin required template tags yeah quest.user.isadmin of team so if I can just do something like this if request.user is admin of team show that thing if not don't so now if I refresh over here this is still the administrator I have to load those team tags yeah so this is still the administrator so they can still see this delete button but now when I'm not signed as an administrator that's gone yeah so at its core that's basically it so if you want to hide something based on uh, admin privileges if you want to uh, prevent someone from accessing certain views you can just use that as decorators combined with those template tags um, and in a future screencast, I might expand on this a little bit and um, show you how to add roles and things like that. But hopefully that was helpful to get you started. See you next time.